In this tutorial, you will learn how to use conditional statements in C-sharp. Conditional statements allow you to execute selective statements based on a condition that is evaluated. You can control the flow of a program by using conditional statements. It is an expression that produces a true or false result. The construct used is an if-else construct. Let's take a look at the syntax. The if block starts with the keyword if, followed by braces that hold the condition. When the condition evaluates to true, the statements to be executed are placed between the delimiters following the if statement. When the condition in the if block evaluates to false, we have an else block that gets executed. The else block starts with the else keyword followed by the delimiters to define the body. Note that the else block is optional. Consider an example to check if the person is above 18 years of age or not. We have a simple program here to input age from the user. There is a single variable age of type integer. The next line, console.writeLine, prints enter age onto the screen, and this line right here, console.readLine, gets the user input and stores it in age. Now for the condition. If the age is above 18, the output should read, you are above the age limit. So let's add the if block. There is a condition to check if the age is above 18, and closed in the if statement braces. If the condition is true, the statements in the if block get executed. If the condition is false, you can have an else block below the if block to write the output. Note that the else block does not take any conditional statements. Now to compile or build the program, press F6. You can see that the build succeeded. Now to run the program, press F5. The console window asks for an age. Let's input 24, and the output reads, you are above the age limit. Since the conditional statement in the if block evaluates to true, the statements in the if block got executed. Now let's run the program again. Let's input age as 12. You get the output, you are below the age limit. Since the conditional statement evaluates to false for age 12, the statements in the else block is executed. Press enter to exit the console window. Here, the else block is optional. So let us comment the else block completely and build the program. Now, if you compile and run the program, you get the console window reading, enter the age. Enter 12 is age again. The program runs without an else statement, but does not show any output for age below the limit, as the else block is commented. Now, the if-else construct can also be nested inside each other. Consider an example where you want to categorize people based on their age. Children from 1 to 12, teens from 13 to 19, and adults after 20 years of age. Therefore, here you have to make two decisions, one after the other. For that, we use the nested if-else construct. Let's look into the code. Notice that there are two if-else constructs. We don't have delimiters as the statements are only single lines. The if statement here uses logical operator as well. Now let's execute the program. First, compile by pressing F6, followed by running the program using the F5 key. The console window opens. Enter age. Let's enter 4. The output reads, you are a child. Press enter to exit the console window. Note that the condition in the first if construct is true, and the respective statement got executed.